Hey guys, Chris at GP Knives. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at the brand new Benchmade Tagged Out. We got a different version from them, uh, from the orange one you might already know. And basically what we want to do is we want to see how we got here and go through the evolution of the hunt line folders. So I'm going to begin today with the original Tagged Out. This guy is about a year old. Um, it's from the hunt line. You guys may recognize it. Really nice clip point blade on there. Awesome stone watch, CPM 154. Um, so you might think of this as basically uh, the hunt line's bug out, okay? So when it came out, we were all thinking that it's got the, the FRN handles for very lightweight, uh, open barrel construction, uh, but it's got that big clip point blade from the hunt line you would expect from, uh, from the hunt line. For basically outdoors, um, it's a really nice size clip point blade. Well, now there's gonna be an evolution of a few more tagged outs this year. And the newest one we have is an upgrade in the blade steel. So they did CPM S45VN. Um, that's basically a evolution of the premium S30 series you guys have probably heard of. Really nice steel, good edge retention. Um, so that's stone washed. And the other big deal is that it comes in OD green G10 now. So anybody feeling like, you know, if they're a little leery about flex in the handle, this is gonna be a much stronger choice for you. So in consideration of the Benchmade tagged out, I wanna talk about now how we got here. And what I think is it's all started with the Crooked River. So the Crooked River, if you guys have ever handled one, um, it's a big knife. It's definitely a large size folder, a great, great accompaniment to anybody who has a fixed blade, hunter, camper, anything like that. I even own one. It's just, it's honestly just a great big knife. It's one of my favorite large folders they've ever done. So it's got the big sweeping clip blade on there. It's got those wood accents in the hunt line, of course. And what I think that, that the idea was when they got into the tagged out was they took, you know, hey, we've got this really popular large clip point hunter's knife, people love it. How can we make it better? And how can we make it more for everybody every day? So they took, took a look at the bug out, which had the FRN scales, really lightweight, you know, the deep carry pocket clip. And they basically just combined them. They put them all together. In my mind, I think that the Crooked River and the bug out had a baby and they called it tagged out. Um, basically, because you've got the same blade shape, um, and much lighter handles than that original one, the orange FRN, and the bug out clip on it. So you've basically got a good, still a good size blade. It's like three and a half inch blade on a much lighter knife, um, which makes real easy to carry for anybody in the woods, anybody outdoors, uh, you know, hunter's companion for sure. So I just think that the combination of the bug out and the Crooked River is how we got to the tag down. So all that brings us to the original tag down. So we've got the orange FRN handles, very lightweight, like the bug out. It's got the deep carry clip, just like the bug out. It's got your open barrel spacers here. But then you transfer over to the blade and you've got this big sweeping clip point, just like the Crooked River. It's CPM 154, so you got a good stainless steel on there. Stone wash to hide wear and tear. And it feels really good in hand. It's just, it feels a little bit bigger than the bug out. Um, and you will notice that, but it's not as big as the Crooked River. So it's definitely in that medium point. Um, and I think guys really enjoyed that, but there's things they didn't enjoy. And that's probably what led to the new one that's coming out very soon. It has this slot opening for basically for your, you know, getting your thumb in there and opening it. Uh, the new one, this new green guy here, he's got dual thumb studs, dual orange thumb studs, which is a really nice accent. You can see how much easier it is to open, faster to open. Uh, that's a great upgrade on the new one. The main reason that they did that slot, that cutout in the blade on the original one was so that they weren't having anything getting hung up when you're skinning, anything like that. You, you know, sometimes studs or whatever can get in the way um, if you're field dressing anything out there. But I think what they found out that a much faster deployment method with the thumb studs was better and it doesn't really get in the way too bad because they're pretty small. The studs are pretty small on there. And I think it just makes a world of difference if you want something real quick out of your pocket. Also an upgrade is we went to CPM S45 VN Steel, which is relatively new. Um, it's a progression of the CPM S30 series, if you guys are familiar with that. So better edge retention. Um, you're definitely gonna have really good corrosion resistance for outdoors, outdoor use. And then the feel in hand is really the difference. You get this contoured OD Green G10 and it feels great. It feels solid, you know what I mean? No flex to it whatsoever. And most surprising I think you're gonna find is the weight. So the original guy, this FRN guy, he's just over two ounces, like 2.1 ounces. Well, the new G10 one, to my surprise, is still under three ounces, like 2.85. So they did a great job of keeping that lightweight, even though it's got this thick G10 on it, it's, it's linerless, basically. It's got some inset ones here for the lock, but entirely, as long as it is, there's no liners you know, weighing it down, which is really, really nice. 
And they didn't do the barrel spacers on the new one. They actually did this aluminum, orange anodized aluminum backspacer with this uh, lanyard hole at the end, which makes it even more solid feel. It still leaves a little bit open here back to easy to clean out and all that, but it makes it much stronger than having just a couple barrel spacers back there. Also a really nice orange accent to this green G10. Definitely blew my mind on that one. But overall, when you compare it to the Crooked River, which we've talked about already, they shaved about an inch off overall length on that one. And it went from a four inch blade to a three and a half inch blade. And it's just been a great evolution. I love the clip point blade. I love the new steel. Um, I think you guys are really gonna like it. If there was things you didn't like about last year's tagged out, this one's definitely gonna be one that's gonna surprise you. And, and I highly recommend it for outdoor carry, camping, or just every day. It's a really solid knife. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching uh, this overview today. Um, I love talking about the, the evolution of the Benchmade Tagged Out and all the folders from the Hunt line. I think it's a great line. Um, if any of you guys are outdoor enthusiasts, or even if you aren't, um, the Tagged Out is still gonna be a great companion every day. Really nice knife. The new OD, OD Green version is awesome, and I think you're gonna love it. Um, Check out all of our links down below. We're gonna to link to our Benchmade category. All of these knives are in stock right now. So they're definitely easy to, to pick one up and, and grab one at your convenience. And I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks a lot.